My name is uh, Birkir. I'm a product manager for a Swedish company called Fantity. For those who don't know, we've been uh, active creating uh, receipts for Sweden for quite a while, many years now. And uh, this is a bit on short notice, so I will just talk more generic terms. And if, if uh, Please feel free to interrupt if you have any questions on the go. So, um, who are we? Today we are uh, 60 employed and we're based in Stockholm, Gothenburg and uh, Ludvika in Dalarna in, in Sweden. And uh, we have actually two core, uh, two core uh, platforms or businesses, you could say. Digital receipts is one of them and uh, expense management is the other. And for the past uh, few years, expense management has kind of been the way for us to grow our company and opening the, the states for digital receipts today. Um, so in our, um, I can just mention, um, we, we actually, um, we had a pretty big uh, breakthrough this year when we joined forces with a, another company called Kivra. I don't know if you know about it, but it's uh, like a Swedish uh, digital brevlota um, or uh, basically inbox for your mail in Sweden. Quite trusted by, by many players in Sweden. Uh, I think they have around 3 million users. And uh, when they joined, uh, or when we joined forces, the Swedish market kind of opened up for the e-receipts. And uh, the main reason for that for us was uh, because uh, Kira is a really trusted brand from the consumers. They kind of regard it as a, as a state brand almost. So uh, that opened uh, with other players and, and now we're uh, building the digital receipts for Ica, for example. Example. I'm, I'm from Iceland, I tend to actually say this wrong, Ica. <laughs> Some people think I say Ikea when I'm saying it. But So that is what we're launching now in Sweden. And, and after that, um, a lot of other players uh, opened up and I will kind of talk a bit more about the ecosystem we have. So, few facts. We have uh, yeah, 4 billion receipts in Sweden every year and 200 million are for business purchases, so you kind of see maybe the logic why we went with expense management in the beginning. Of course, uh, lately in Sweden, which is fantastic and in the world, the environmental um, arguments are getting bigger and helping us kind of drive that as well. So it's not only the merchant's needs, it's also the consumer needs that are balancing actually uh, the development at the moment and helping us uh, driving maybe more ECR players and the cashier systems to us who are afraid to not be able to kind of yeah, meet the customer, not the merchant. So, so people are thinking ahead, which is quite interesting because I would say one year ago, it wasn't really like that. So this is happening really fast now. Um, oh, I'm going backwards here. So yeah, we, in our, in our ecosystem today, we are supplying digital receipts to, uh, of course, Kira is, is the primary, um, like a receipt window, you could say, in, in Sweden, where you, we are gathering all our receipts. But for other players, of course, they can engage with their customers, but Kira will be kind of like the trusted uh, brand uh, holding, holding in front of the con uh, consumer. And uh, we're pretty, uh, with Kira on board, we're pretty, uh, we try to protect the consumer very much and the data, of course. So no actions are taken unless they are asked first. And, and uh, that's actually the states we're setting now with other Swedish players to be very protective of the consumer and how we engage them into basically this, this process. And then of course, uh, there is the, the business aspect of it where we have the expense management and, and other actors who actually have other services that they're offering to the, to the consumer. And I guess it's, Pretty similar as to you have here in, in Finland, nothing, uh, not too different at least. Um, and I think one, one thing I can actually mention that is maybe quite interesting. Few few of the projects that we're involved with now are also actually regarding how you return products in stores which of course is, uh, changes a lot once we have the digital receipt because we can verify the product and actually the consumer in a wholly different way. 
So this has been uh, quite interesting and we are finishing a bit of a UX uh, design and tests with a few actors there. So this would be one of the things we would push out uh, immediately, I think, which would be a lot of uh, value addition for the, uh, yeah, for the end user, essentially. And the merchant. And then, of course, uh, then of course, um, the, dit uh, the digital receipts is also, if the consumer wants and the business wants, then it's used as a communication channel. But like I said, it's that's kind of outside our scope. That's uh, that's for the market to decide how they want to do it. So, so we have a we have a few different uh, stages here. And I think actually that is more or less it.